Hi everyone, welcome to the final session of the day one of the Academy. And uh, in this uh, final session, what we are planning to do is to demonstrate all analytic tools in a nutshell, how we are going to use the different analytic tools, a uh, few of which Saurabh has demonstrated in the last session, how, how we are going to use it in a practical setting. So for this purpose, uh, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to access one DHS2 instance, similar to what you will be accessing uh, for, for doing the exercises. So to give you a bit of context of this uh, DHS2 instance, this DHS2 instance is the HMIS or Health Management Information System of one country, imaginary country called Training, right? So uh, just assume that all of you are the health managers of the HIV program of this country uh, called Training Net. Okay, so what we are going to do is like you may have most of the countries, like most of the health programs, from time to time, we want to assess how our, how, how our health program is doing. So for example, we want to know how this HIV program is performing. To do this, some simple thing that we can do uh, by sitting at your office at national level, is to do something called a desk review. So what I'm going to do now, what I'm going to demonstrate now is uh, how to do a basic desk review by using DHIS2, okay? So for this purpose, uh, let me now share my screen and log into the DHIS2 instance. Okay, I hope you can see the DHIS2 instance now. So what you are seeing here, uh, I, I have logged into this instance um, from my personal account, right? And in this instance, I'm seeing uh, right at the uh, top here, I'm seeing lots of dashboards. Now, Saurabh briefly, briefly mentioned what dashboard is. We'll be talking in depth about what, uh, what these dashboards are in time to come. So what I want you, to, you all to do is uh, don't just follow the same steps that I'm doing. Just observe uh, how you actually in a practical setting using different analytic tools available in DHIS2 to perform a basic desk review. Okay, right. So I log into training land as a country uh, or national level user. And because I'm a national level user, uh, the usual scenario is that I'm going, I'm going to see lots of dashboards. As you can see here, I'm seeing around 20 dashboards. But uh, mostly for this desk review, I'll be focusing on this particular dashboard here, which is HIV district SNU2. So in this uh, situation, like uh, because I'll be most of the time uh, using this dashboard, I would like this to come right at the uh, beginning of the list, right? So that I don't have to go browse some. I mean, sometimes it may go to the bottom of the list and it's very difficult to uh, find, find it. So what I will do uh, in this uh, instance to um, make it come right at the top is to make is to do something called star, right? So when I click on this star button, you can see uh, it has been starred. And that particular dashboard comes uh, right at the top of the list. Okay, right. So let's now focus on what we have in this particular uh, dashboard. So it is for the HIV district, subnational level two. And I'm seeing some charts. There are some um, tables, maps, things like that. Okay. So, um, like, I mean, I just want to know, I, I just want to ask a question like, what is this data representing? I mean, in, in, uh, when you are learning DHS2, I, I guess you, you must be aware that in DHS2, we can have different org organization unit level, right? So for example, we can have national, or as, uh, the second could be regional, district, health facility, right? Coming from training land, which is the national level, right? Okay. So, right. Now, something I'm going to do is like most of the time, I can see data from national level and just by looking at national level, we will not be able to understand the discrepancies of data, uh, which is taking place at lower levels. So to do that, without going into, I mean, like uh, you must be aware that we can drill down and or else we can open this each of these widget on separate modules. Without doing that, from the dashboard itself, I can do something called application of a filter. So when I do that, the data will be filtered what data and the visualizations that you see in this dashboard will be filtered based on the uh, filter that you set here. So let me add a organization unit and a period filter. So right now it is showing data for the training land for last 12 months. Is that clear? Okay, let me uh, apply a filter. So first of all, I will filter data from here to show at animal and food region and click on confirm. 
right? And you will see that now the data is showing animal and food region. And let me apply another filter uh, so that I'll be seeing data from this month. Confirm. Right. Now that you can see, there are, there are two filters which have been applied. One is organization unit filter for the animal and food region and this month. Now, what we have done is, right, just by sitting at national level, I have just, uh, you know, like not permanently changing the dashboard. Transiently, I have set up a filter so that all the dashboard items in this dashboard are, are filtered based on the organization unit criteria and a period criteria. Okay, you can see this. Great. Right. Let us now focus on one of these dashboard items. All right. So let's focus on the first one, which is HIV cascade this month. Okay. So in here, uh, when we just uh, compare, uh, we are seeing three data items, which is HIV test positive, uh, PLHIV, new one ART, and last 12 months for animal and food region. Just by a comparison that I'm seeing that there is an issue, like there is high reporting of HIV, uh, HIV positive tests in this animal region. And I am a bit uh, concerned about this thing, right? So what I can do is just like what you are doing on Facebook and other social media platforms, I can do something called, uh, I can open up uh, this option here by clicking here called interpretation and detail, right? And what I can do is I can just make a comment here so that the person who is in charge of this region, he will, have, I can communicate to him here that you have to look here, you have to look at this data. There is something uh, wrong with this data. Just have a look at it and let me know, right? So I know that a particular user's name is admin, right? So let me start, uh, I just want his attention also. So what I will do is I will start typing admin, right? So there are a couple of admin users. So this is the one I'm interested of, admin district, right? And I'm going to basically what I do, what I'm going to do is, I feel that test results are unusually high for this month. And I want to know whether he has performed data quality reviews for this information, right? So I'm going to type here without taking too much time. I'm going to copy paste, right? I'm saying admin district, test positive seems unusually high this month. Have you performed data quality reviews for this information, right? So I just type it there and I click on save interpretation, okay? So you can see now I have this chart and there is this chart description and I have uh, typed a comment here, uh, which needs to be addressed by this admin district user. Okay, great. So let me now try to um, uh, log in from admin district user and see what happens. Okay, let me open that uh, account in a new dashboard. Right, and let me share the screen again. Right. So right now I am now logged in from a user called admin district, right? So from this admin district account, I logged in and let me refresh, right? And now when I refresh, you will see that as soon as I log in, there are two buttons here, right? One is called interpretation, one is a message. So, so let me click and open this message and see what happens, right? Here is one system message, right? I just clicked here and we have a system message, right? And it says that you are mentioned in following interpretation. And it says like now, for example, I logged in from other users account I, and I typed something and that message appears as a system message. And also in this interpretation, when I click there, it will also, also show that uh, there is a comment Let me scroll down to see, there you go, right? So here it says admin district test positive seems unusually high this month. Have you performed data quality reviews for this information? So what happens is this create an interactivity uh, between the users of the same system, right? So you can communicate with the system. Not only this, let me log in from the email account of the admin district user. So I logged in from the email account of the admin, admin district user, and you can see this email here. Let me open that email, right? So you see, that when I typed an interpretation uh, in the particular dashboard and mentioned that particular user, that user is getting an email in his email account and also is getting uh, notifications in system messages as well as interpretations. So this is a, a fantastic way of communicating while you are performing a, a desk review, right? Okay. Let me go back to my previous account. 
right. I hope everything is clear up to this point. Fine. Okay, so let me now remove these filters. I just click on remove and remove, and I'm back at this uh, previous, uh, uh, the original dashboard item, right? Okay. So um, let me go down and uh, I'm actually seeing, I'm now going to focus on a uh, few other items. So let me uh, look at this particular uh, pivot table, which is ART performance, okay? So what I can do is I can basically, I mean, this is a bit of a crowded uh, table as you can see here. So to have a better look at it, what I will do is I will just click here and try to open it in the data visualizer app, right? So from the dashboard, I'm going into this uh, data visualizer app and I'm going to open the same pivot table in the data visualizer app so that I can, you know, do some tweaking and have a better look at uh, the information which is there, right? So the first thing I want to know is like, I'm a bit concerned about this HIV ratio uh, of new on ART to newly diagnosed, right? So here I'm seeing a lot of figures uh, um, uh, based, based on the district level, right? So what I can do is I can quickly uh, have a look at which uh, organization unit or which district, district was performing worse. So to do that, what I will do is I will just click here so that data is getting sorted, right? So, um, just by uh, looking at it, I can see that uh, this, the bird district here is the worst performing district. Okay. And then 